Yeah. Call all the deacons up. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Ask if we linking up. What time no sleeping time? What time no sleeping time? Wake up the sleeping trap. Wake up the sleeping trap. Call up the deacons, bro. Call them up now. Ask if we linking up. Now, 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 now. What time no sleeping time? 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 Call all the deacons. I call him up now. Ask if we linking up. What we linking up? What time no yeah. sleeping time? Any yeah, minute now. Wake up the sleeping trap. I said I had to call him up. I made the phone call a deep like, what's up? Is you ready for war? He replied, being ready for war. Being ready for a battle with swords. And I respect him because he fought many wars. I humble down to what the scriptures say. And give doubles to the elders that been leading the way. I know it's hard in this walk and they've been walking for years. So when I'm weak in the flesh, they voice attend to my ears. A young man try and soak the wisdom, gain the knowledge, apply the scriptures, wrong decisions, leave me senseless, dear Lord, would you give me a chance, we all looking for the code of the gate, we all looking how to... Verse 59, I thought on my way, so that's what y'all gotta do, you gotta think on your ways, you got, now, he just brought out some some commandments, you know you haven't been keeping, you probably ne may have never heard them before, you see what I'm saying, but what you gotta do, you just got to think on your ways, hey, I got you. and what? And turn my feet unto thy testimony. So that's what you got to do. You got to turn your feet unto the testimony. Meaning, turn your feet to what you just heard. These are God laws coming out. God commandments. What we just read that they're gonna give you life, right? We said if keep these commandments and you shall live. You see what I'm saying? Because people don't understand. Judgment is coming to this earth, man. You can look at the TV and tell the war is cracking up. You know what I'm saying? It's finna be war. And guess what? The war is actually the beginning of our freedom for the ones that keep these commandments. You see what I'm saying? The ones that keep these commandments, that's freedom for us. But the ones that disobedient and want to live how they want to live, break all God's laws, that same fire that's coming, that same nuclear bombs that going to get dropped over here is going to be for those people that don't want to keep God's commandments. And I said that I'm going to prove it out the Bible too. Watch this. Keep reading. Come on, Solomon. Verse 60, I made haste and delayed not to keep that so, so this is what y'all should do. I made haste. Haste is an old word meaning what? I did it speedily. I made haste. I did it quickly. I made haste what? And delayed not. And I delayed not. Meaning I didn't take my time. Well, you know what? I'm a, you know, I, I, I wear a dress later on. You know, I, I do. You know what? I'm going to eat. I, I eat all this um, crab and all this pork in my refrigerator. Then I, um, you know, I won't eat no more. No. It said make haste and delay not. Go home, throw that stuff in the trash. It's trash anyway. It's only polluting your body. Because I got a question. If your car got um, unleaded fuel only, will you pull up to a gas station and put diesel in it? Why you want to put diesel in it? It's going to mess the engine up, right? So God telling us what? Don't put this in there. Guess what? If we do it, it messes the engine up. It messes your body up. You see what I'm saying? You defile, you defile your temple. God say we are holy. We're supposed to live holy. Right? Go ahead. Psalms 119 verse 60. I made haste and delayed not to keep thy commandments. See that? I delayed not to do what? And delayed not to keep thy commandments. So that's what we're supposed to do. We're not supposed to take our time. We're supposed to um keep these commandments. But I said destruction is going to be for those people, right? Give me Isaiah 13 and 6. Let me show you. The future prophecy when Christ come back. Christ is coming back to destroy this place, man, because it's full of wickedness. It's only getting worse every single day. Every time you can tell it, look at the generations under you. Look at the little kids. They already know about homosexuality at five years old. You see what I'm saying? You got little kids touching on the kids now in, in elementary school. You see what I'm saying? It's getting worse. Come on. Isaiah chapter 13, verse 6. Nine. Verse 9 Behold the day of the Lord cometh Cruel both with wrath and fierce anger You see that? So it said the day of the Lord coming what? With wrath and with fierce anger So he coming with fierce anger Come on To lay the land desolate What is he going to do? To lay the land desolate uh -huh. And he shall destroy these sinners they are out of it. Read it again. What What is the black Messiah going to do when he come back? Read that again, man. Because our people think it's a joke out here. Read it again. And he shall destroy the sinners. They are 
out of it. So that's what's going to happen. But our people just walking around thinking it's all good. You see what I'm saying? But they don't understand that they are God's chosen people. They don't understand that they are the royalty of the earth. The so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's jewels according to the Bible. We are the real Israelites according to the Bible. We've been lied to in slavery. Now we can read. We can pick up the Bible and read now. What's going on, my brother? What's going on? Give me Jeremiah 17 and 4. What's good? You got a question? Go ahead. Acts 10 34. What is you talking about? What you want not what you want out of it? With Cornelius? No, I'm just saying what what you what, what the basis of you trying to find out what, what Cornelius is or what? Uh, no, it's saying uh, Get that. It's saying that the, that the most high doesn't he doesn't show Respect the person? Yeah. Okay, I'll praise. Give me James um give me James two and one. Let's show you who he's talking about the respect of a person. That's, that's a good question. Watch this. Give me James 2 and 1. Come, come on, give me James 2 and 1. Let me show you. Let me read. Because they're respect of a person. Let's see, because he created all nations, right? But watch this. James. James 2 and 1. James chapter 2, verse 1. My brethren, have not the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Lord of glory, with respect of persons. Now, respect of persons, right? Let's see what this is talking about. Keep reading. For if there come unto you, unto your assembly, a man with a gold ring. So it said if a man walk up right now with a gold ring, right? Come on. In goodly apparel. So goodly apparel, he got on some fly, he got on a fly suit, he clean, right? Watch this. And there come in also a poor man. So now, one one end, uh, a man came with diamonds, gold on him, fly suit, and another man come up looking like a junkie. He looking like a bomb, right? Come on. In vile raiment. Uh -huh. His clothes raggedy, right? Come on. And ye have respect to him. You have what? And ye have respect to him. So that's what it's talking about, respect. You got more respect just because this brother walked up with uh, a clean suit on or whatever looking good and somebody coming over here looking junky and bummy you got more respect to this person rather than um paying attention to this person come on that worth the gay clothing and say unto him sit thou here in a good place so now the, the man that come up here with a with, um good suit on you like you know what hey you come over here you sit over here you know what i'm saying you treating him what with respect so that's the respect of person. You see what I'm saying? But the respect of person you're talking about, I know what you're talking about. Give me, um, let me show you something though. Give me um, Deuteronomy 76. Exodus 2 and 25. Let me get Exodus 2 and 25. What, 2 and 25? Exodus 2 and 25. Okay, okay, all, yeah, we're gonna straighten everything up. That was just, that was the one respect of person. Let me show you this. Exodus chapter two and verse, Last verse. Verse 25. And God looked upon the children of Israel. Now, God looked upon these people right here. Now, watch this. God looked upon these people and what? And God had respect unto them. So he had what? And had respect unto them. So he had respect unto the children of Israel. So when he's talking about respect the person, yeah, he got respect to the person. Cause why? Deuteronomy seven and six. As a nation of people, yes, he got respect to a nation because that's a, we are a chosen royal nation. Everybody is not royal in his eyes. We the only one royal. You see what I'm saying? But watch what the Bible say. It ain't gonna be my words. Let the Bible speak. Watch this. The book of Deuteronomy chapter seven verse six. Because if we knew we was royalty, we wouldn't have our people in this right here. They thinking that they Africans. No, you the people in the Bible. Your people are Abraham, Isaac, Jacob, King David, King Solomon, Ezekiel, Jeremiah. They look just like you. That's right. See what I'm saying? They, they don't know that. Read. Deuteronomy 7 verse 6. For thou art unholy people unto the Lord thy God. The Lord thy God hath chosen thee to be a special people unto himself. Above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So wait a minute. So... That's having respect to person, right? He said, I chose you to be above all people upon the face of the earth. Now, let's see that that's changed in the New Testament. Get Romans 11 and 1. Let's see that that changed. Or is the children of Israel just done away with or something? Well, let's find out. Romans 11 and 1. You know what I'm saying? Because what? We are 
the royalty of the earth. And we're gonna make we gonna make it be known. 300, 400 years, they lied to us like we're gonna be scared to tell the truth now. We can read. We don't give a damn who come up. We gonna tell it straight out the Bible, bro. Cause we love our people. That's how much we love our people. Don't you know they hate us for, for telling the truth? Don't you know they come over here taking pictures of us? All that type of stuff, like they gonna scare the prophets. But guess what? We've been doing we've been doing this since been doing this. We've been they block us on YouTube. They don't, me, if CNN roll up right now, they will not show us. Watch this. Yes, and we we are we are on that already. Come on. But guess what? Look where we at. We out here because we love our people. We don't give a damn. Come on. Romans chapter 11 verse 1. I say then, hath God cast away his people? So wait a minute. Have God cast away his, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans? Let's find out, right? Let's see because the church a lot to our people as if everybody's all equal. No. Only the Israelites, only the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are God's chosen people. Watch this. But have God cast away his people? Because we just read in Deuteronomy 76 that we're supposed to be above all nations on the face of the earth, right? So now I was just proving that point in the New Testament that it didn't change. So when it's talking about respect of a person and, and, and judging each other, is no respect of a person. But when you're talking about as a respect of a person of nations, yes, God re have respect onto Israel, what we just read. Because we are souls of people. Now, to further that point in the New Testament, watch what Paul say. God forbid, for I also am an Israelite. Hold on, what is Paul? For I also am an Israelite. No, he's African. I also am an Israelite. Paul said he an Israelite. Watch this, what tribe he from? Of the seed of Abraham, of the tribe of Benjamin. So if Paul was alive today, he'll be a called so-called, I mean, he'll be a, a Jamaican. You see what I'm saying? West Indy. If, if, if Christ was alive today, he will be called so-called African-American. So we're looking at the same bloodline as, uh, that Jesus got, we got right here in America. The same bloodline that um, Paul got would be the Jamaicans. Um, Levi. You got um, Moses. He would have been a Levite. Aaron. He would have been a Levite. You see what I'm saying? But, that, but we just... Um, got off at a different spot. You see what I'm saying? Same people, same nation of people. We just got off the slave ships at a different location. You know what I'm saying? Keep reading. God hath not cast away his people. So God haven't cast away his people. So how can you get anything else out of that? You see what I'm saying? How can you make that say something different? Only because Jeremiah is 17 and 4. This is, this is only why they can make it say whatever or just say anything and we believe it. Only because of this right here. This is the only reason why we are here walking around thinking we Africans is because of this right here. Watch this. The book of Jeremiah, chapter 17, verse 4. And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. It said we was going to do what? And thou, even thyself, shalt discontinue from thine heritage. What did we do? What did the so-called black man do? Discontinue from thine heritage. So let me ask you a question. What is discontinue, brother? No, 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 no. Okay, that's all good. So you said stop, sister, right? That would discontinue mean, right? To stop, to cut off. Watch this. Hold on, we're gonna get to that. King James, which is a black man, according to the Bible. Now, not to the Bible, but according to history. But guess what? We discontinue from our heritage, right? Now we think the white man wrote the book. The white man ain't wrote this book. Because why? The white man won't tell you that King Solomon is black. Jesus is black. That's in the Bible. They don't read the Bible. You see what I'm saying? They, that's, that's why. Because we discontinue from our heritage. And how was that? 300 years of slavery, we discontinue from this. So now the white man get up and say, hey, slave obey your master and close the book. And then say Jesus is white and make all movies Jesus white. Now our people believe Jesus is white. We know that's a lie because there's no scripture in the Bible to prove that. That's a lie. Jesus is a black man according to the Bible. King Solomon, King David. You see what I'm saying? All the prophets in the Bible. Of the first man, the first man, Adam, was black. The first man, Adam, was black. It was a ship named Jesus. That's the white man. You see what I'm saying? But watch this. Keep reading. Keep reading. Jeremiah 17 and 4. And thou even thyself shalt discontinue from thine heritage. Now let's show you how we dis how we discontinue. Get Deuteronomy 28, 68. Let's show you how. Listen up, bro. I want you to listen up, bro. Hey bro, right here. What's your name, bro? What's your name? Okay, all right. We're gonna show you something, bro. We're gonna I'm gonna deal with you. I like you. Come on, right. Deuteronomy 28, 68. 
Watch this. Let's show you how we discontinue from our heritage, right? You kind of got an idea on how we could discontinue. Let me ask you, before we even read it, because you've been here a while, you, you got pulled a lot of good stuff inside of you now. So how did we discontinue from our heritage? We broke the covenant of God. Okay, we broke the covenant of God. I'm saying, I mean, I guess I need to make more, make more, make it clear. Uh, what act forced us to discontinue from our heritage? Slavery. Slavery. Right on. Slavery now watch this. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into what? Egypt. If anybody familiar with a little bit of history of Egypt, you familiar? Egypt is an Egypt. Yeah, Egypt is an Abundance, Egypt. right? We was in slavery in Egypt, right? The children of Israel was enslaved, um, in slavery to the what? Egyptians, right? So it said he's going to bring us back into slavery, but what? Again with ships. So we got over here on cargo slave ships. We, sat, we, we packed on the ships like sardines. If you at the top, you got to use the bathroom and you <clears throat> and you changed up. Tell me, where is that urine going to go? <clears throat> to the bottom. On your brother, on your sister, right? What if sister's about to have a baby on the, on there? You know we had pregnant sisters um, on the ship. You see what I'm saying? Did you think they tr treated, us, treated them any better? No. Come on. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more again. See, we haven't seen our homeland again. We think our homeland Africa. How big is Africa? That ain't our homeland. Our homeland is Jerusalem, according to the Bible. We just fled into the west coast of Africa because the people in Africa look like us. This meaning what? The same color of skin, but we're not the same people. We're a different nation of people. Come on, hold on. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. And what what was happening when we got off those slave ships? And there ye shall be sold unto your enemy. Nigga, 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 sold to what? Master Charles in Virginia. Come on. For bond men. For what? For bond men. Slave men. And bond women. And slave what? And bond women. What nation of people you know? That went on slavery in cargo slave ships. When you get off the slave ships, you were sold to your enemies for what? Read it for what bond meant. Read that. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. So when the ship pulled up in Jamaica, we was what? Sold unto your enemy. When the ship pulled up in Haiti, we was what? Sold unto your enemy. When it pulled up in the, uh, on the east coast of America, we was what? Sold. Unto your enemies for bond men and bond women, and no man shall buy you. Meaning, no man shall save you. No man has saved us. What happened to Malcolm X? Shot. What happened to Martin Luther King? Shot right here in Memphis. Except Nat Turner, Marcus Garvey. Anybody try to stand up and to um, break our people out of bondage, what? They never succeeded, right? What's your question is, bro? My when y'all explain they brought us over here they shipped back to Egypt, a lot of people get confused because they don't know the difference between the, the geographic where they was at, where they was already at. So they thinking they taking them back to Egypt. Not with no ships though, that's why we clarified. Yeah, there was a lot of huh? That's why that's why that's why it said with ships, because we ain't going back into Egypt begin with ships in the land, man. All right, okay, look, I'm going to clear it up. Give me Revelation 11 and 8. Check this out. I understand. I understand. I understand. I understand what you're saying. Now, look, listen to this. Listen to this. Now, remember, the first time Israelites came out of Egypt, how they do? What they do? Came out of Egypt. And went into Israel. How they get to the promised land? They walked to the promised land. Now, look, check this out. Check this out. Revelation 11 and 8. Listen to this. The book of Revelation, chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies. And their dead bodies. This is talking about spiritually dead. When you look at our people, these dead bodies. They don't got no life in them. Our people think this guy. A lot, the majority of our people think this guy. You have a little child up here right now and say, who is there? They say God. Our people are spiritually dead. Read. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Of the great city. So what is this? It said in the streets of that great city. Now look, I'm going to show you what the great city is. Go to Revelation 17, last verse. Make sure you're paying attention because you asked a real important question. You're going to be able to show people that the Egypt that is talking about is a spiritual Egypt. 
That's why you got the pyramid downtown. That's why they had Rams is great in front of the uh, pyramid. That's why this city is called Memphis. No, no, look, I ain't through yet. Listen to this, Rick. The book of Revelation, chapter 17, verse 18. And the woman which thou sawest. He said, the woman which thou sawest, Reed. Is that great city. Remember, it said they're going to be, uh, their, their body should be in this great city. It's that great city that do what? Which reigneth over the kings of the earth. What? What nation, what great city rules over all kingdoms on earth? What great city rules over all kingdoms? What country rules over all kingdoms on earth? America, America do. Everybody bow down to America and what America say. The white man rule the world. Then I go back to what you was at. Listen to this, read. Revelation chapter 11 verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. That great city is talking about America. Read on. Which spiritually, which spiritually is called what? It's called Sodom. Why is it spiritually called Sodom? What was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah? Everything. 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 All types of sexual immorality. What's going on in America? All types of sexual immorality. They just passed laws that two men can get married and two women can get married. That was going on in Sodom and Gomorrah. It ain't going on in no other country but here. This spiritual Sodom. And what else? And Egypt. And Egypt. What happened to the Israelites in Egypt? That was what? What happened to the Israelites in ancient Egypt? That was what? They was made slaves. What happened to the Israelites in this spiritual Egypt? So now you know the difference between the Egypt. Revelation is 11 and 8. Look, it don't matter. The, the prophecy is true. Go to Isaiah 34 and 16. It don't matter what version of the Bible we read because the prophecy is true. We coming out with prophecy now. It said you gonna listen. It said you gonna go into. It said you gonna go into slavery with ship. Listen to this. Read Isaiah chapter thirty four verse sixteen. Seek ye out of the book of the Lord and read. The problem with our people, we don't want to come back to what God gave us. God gave us this Bible. This our history, this our custom, yes. these our laws. Bring it out. He said, seek out of the book of the Lord and read. You wrote this. That's right. You are the prophets. We are the prophets. Read on. No one of these shall fail. Not one of God's prophecies shall fail. He said, yokes of earth was going to be on our neck. Yokes of earth was going to be on our head. He said, we was going to be carried to slaves on slave ships. We was carried to slaves on slave ships. He said, our sons and daughters going to be given to another people. Our sons and daughters was going to be given to another people. God said, the women going to rule over the men. Who run the stuff in this day of time? The woman ruling over the black man. It is what it is. God said your children are going to oppress us. Who children oppressing us? It ain't the white boys oppressing us. It ain't the white, I mean, it ain't the Chinese boys oppressing us. It ain't the uh, Arab boys oppressing us. It's our own children. He said, not none of these going to fail. None of these problems going to fail. Read. Out, huh? None shall want her mate. For my mouth it had commanded. If God commanded it, if he said it's going to happen, read. And his spirit it has gathered them. And his spirit bring it to pass. So uh, you got that spiritual Egypt right there? So about what version of the Bible, we ain't worried worry about none of that. Here you go. Isaiah 51 and 20. Let's further prove that point. Let, let's show you this our book. This our book. Ain't no white man book. Ain't none of that. It's our history book. Let me show you according to the Bible. What the majority of our people um, at as far as young men? What the most majority in jail? Watch this. What the Bible say, man? Isaiah chapter 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lay at the head of all the streets. Well, we're gonna show we're gonna show you how they get to the, the um prison houses first. Then we're gonna take you to the next scripture to show you that we are in prison houses. But watch this, we lie at what? Read it again from the top. Isaiah 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. We fainted, meaning what? We lost consciousness. We lost who we are. We don't know who we are. That's why we run around thinking we everything under the sun. We, we fainted. When you faint, what? You lose consciousness. You lost consciousness, right? Come on. They lie at the head of all the streets. So guess what? what? What nation of people are on every corner, on the, on the corners of the street? Is it the Chinese boys? Is it the Arab boys on the corner store selling drugs, gang bang? Blood Crips, Vice Lord GDs oh, on the corners. He said they lie at the head of the corners of the streets. What else? As a wild bull. They, they wet, they on the corner like what? As a wild bull. They on the corners like a wild bull. Our people be on the block ready to shoot something. Ready to sell dope. Ready for anything to go down. We on the corners like a wild bull. What? As a wild bull 
in a net. In a net. Because what? What we call the hood now? A trap. That's the trap right there. We had a, we wild bulls in the hood, which is called a trap. Same thing. The Bible is, is real. It's prophecy. Come on. They are full of the theory. Of the Lord. We are full of what? They are full of the theory. That's why we be ready to shoot some. We be on the corners ready to shoot some. What? Now read it again from the top. Isaiah chapter 51 verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. They lay at the head of all the streets. As a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Lord. The rebuke of thy God. Give me the other one. Isaiah 40. Isaiah 40 and 22, right? That's what I want. Isaiah 40 and 22. 42 and 22. 42 and 22. Watch this. Now, I said all of our people, because it started right there, when you been on the corner as a wild bull, meaning wreck full of fury. So guess what? When you complete that task being on the corner uh, full of fury, you're going to shoot something, you're going to sell some dope because you're on the corner. You ain't on the corner for nothing. You're selling dope, you're doing something, you're pushing something. You see what I'm saying? So now, watch this. When you do that, watch what you end up at. I said. I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this Join IUIC channel to get your latest updates on all our YouTube channels. Shalom.